Welcome back to part 3 of our adventures on Pino Azura to see if we can do Italy on a cruise. And so far we've sailed out of Valletta in Malta, enjoyed a sea day, grabbed the essential Instagram photo in Pisa and dodged most of the cultural sites in Florence, opting to fill our bellies with beer and great local food instead. So now it was day 4 of this adventure and Azura was taking a short break from Italy and headed towards the French island of Corsica. We woke to the most incredible sunrise over the mountains. We were loving our balcony cabin. This was a tender port and only the ship's lifeboats were being used. With the ship rammed to the gunnels, we wondered how this day would pan out and at what time we'd get ashore. First breakfast and all the ship's announcements warned those wanting to explore ashore independently to wait until they announced the tenders were quiet with plenty of spaces. This announcement came a lot earlier than they had suggested, but it seemed that everyone was heeding their warnings and this announcement caused a rather chaotic queuing snaking around the atrium just to get a ticket for the tender boat. Once we had gathered our ticket from the Meridian restaurant, we waited to be called for the tender ashore. It was only a short wait before we boarded and headed ashore, and we got ashore about 11am, much later than anticipated with the last tender back at 5pm, but this was enough time to enjoy the pretty port of Calvi, and what a pleasant surprise Calvi provided. This town is split into three distinct areas for visitors to explore. First off, there is the impressive medieval citadel perched atop a cliff overlooking the bay, and we chose to explore this first. From the tender dock, we climbed up towards the citadel, and you're soon greeted by an impressive and moving war memorial. And this is a very poignant reminder that this island has been fought over many times over the centuries. Continuing to climb into the citadel walls, you quickly realise this remains a residential area and you can wander the maze of twisting narrow streets and alleyways. This was a delight to explore and wonderful views across the bay would frequently appear. There are bars and cafes to sit and soak it up too. We also found our way into a beautiful church sat centrally in the citadel. It was lovely just to sit and soak up the atmosphere in this beautiful and simple place. And luckily, immediately opposite the church was an ice cream shop. Mmm, be rude not to, and this ice cream helped cool us down before we continued our way around the citadel. How are you both finding Calvi, guys? Wow, what a place the Calvi is. Hello. This is a find, isn't it? <laughs> it is certainly a find, and this is why we do cruises, because you find places like this, and this is certainly a place to come back to. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. This wasn't the original port on the itinerary. We were supposed to be down at Giacchio, um, but the port changed, and we're up at Calvi. To tend the port, it's been a bit of a hassle getting off, but we're here and it's beautiful. We've been up in the Citadel, oh, yes. lovely medieval fortress, uh, narrow streets, bars, cafes, old church, ice cream, of course. <laughs> and I'm hoping to dip my little toe into the sea later on. Let's see if we can capture that. Yeah, yeah really, <laughs> this place is utterly gorgeous, utterly mm. gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to go and explore the rest of the citadel and then make our way down to the main town area and see if Annette gets the paddle. Yay! It's hot enough to anyway. What is it, the temperature today? Oh, it's over 35. Yeah. Isn't it? Over, well over 35. Definitely. <laughs> so we continued to walk around the citadel walls and headed back to the main town area. This main town area is the second area for the cruise passengers to explore and the three packed streets are filled with bars and cafes and souvenir shops and are really bustling and lively and brilliant to mooch around too. Souvenir hunting time! Fridge magnets and hats brought, it was time to find somewhere to grab a drink. So we walked along the gorgeous harbour front area and there was a lot of choice with multiple restaurants all trying to lure you in for a bite of lunch. We had a plan though to have a beer on the nearby beach and the beach area is the third area for the cruise passengers to explore and it's just a 10 minute walk from the main town to the start of Calvi's extensive expanse of sandy beaches. We wandered down the beaches and these were packed with people enjoying the warm shallow waters. Not much space to sit though at this end. Keep walking and let's try the beach bars. However, we soon found that unless we were dining, these beach bars didn't seem to want our custom, sadly. So just behind the beach is an area with hotels and holiday apartments, and these were serviced by a lovely little market and a further range of bars and restaurants that seemed more than happy to serve us a beer. So we sat and chilled and enjoyed a local beer. So refreshing. Afterwards, we grabbed a cake and some soft drinks for the walk back to town. What you got, Nettie? I went for a vanilla eclair. All right, from the little market over there, it's quite nice to me, they were yeah, friendly, weren't they? Really nice, and this is delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. <laughs> what have you got there, Si? Um, like a chocolate uh, loosey thing with nougat over the top and 
It's very, very tasty, but it's going to melt very fast. Eat it then, quick. And so we toddled off back into the main town area, where we took the opportunity to stock up on soft drinks and bags of sweets in preparation for tomorrow's trip into Rome. Deciding we ought to head back to the ship, we were greeted with rather long queues for the tender. We eventually bit the bullet and joined the queue. The heat was a near 37 degrees, and this was an uncomfortable 30 minute wait in direct sunlight as the queue slowly moved us towards the tender boats. The friendly local fishermen manning the fish market stores were kindly spraying water hoses to help cool passengers in the queue and this was most welcome and somewhat amusing. And at the front of the queue, P&O staff were handing out cold wet face towels as well as glasses of water. Once back aboard the tender, we soon found ourselves back aboard Azura and back in our cabin. We enjoyed a cup of tea and took the opportunity to shower and freshen up. Then time to dine and we grabbed a bite to eat before hitting Brody's pub and the adjacent casino. We had some fun on the slot machines. We're such a sucker for a fruit machine. No surprises, we left the casino poorer than when we had entered. Next, we hit the Playhouse Theatre to see Rocks UK, a female trio who belt out cheesy rock ballads. They're unlikely to head download, but if you like to sing into your hairbrush at home, then this was a performance for you. An early start awaited in the morning, and in a not very rock and roll style, we grabbed an early night because tomorrow we were in Civita Vecchia and we were going to make our first ever visit to Rome. And when in Rome... Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Please like and subscribe.